okay so guys next we are going to be assembling the um parts and importing the parts i right click then left click to exit come close that's my drawing okay so first things first is i want to ground sorry make sure i'm clicking on this guy i don't want to ground this guy grounded so i come to constrain i'm touching the surface then i want to rotate to this side and touch the surface here then go back home and i click ok so i slide it out also let's zoom in closer then next i want to come back to constrain i want to touch on this surface and i want to as well rotate downwards to the surface i click on ok so i can actually slide it to whatever depth i want and yeah so next i pick this guy go back to constraint so yeah again i repeat the process again come to constraint i want to zoom in okay i'm coming i think i'll be zooming in here now to be sure i'm choosing center yes this is the center right now for this guy and the center right now okay sorry home coming please as you rotate okay then let me push it out i repeat what i did the other time come back to constraint constraint so now i want this surface to surface apply let's go back home to see what we just did cool let's rotate to the front sorry the image is too far yeah looks yeah okay let's go back home next is we come back again to the constraint the same center center line with the center line of this guy apply let's click on home again come back here now come back to constraint again now this surface excuse me a little bit yeah I can see the surface here to the surface okay um you give only one wow before you move the video I like it once you go by why are these people in my area I will go see then i click on ok come to home and after home i come back to place again look for that specific part i drew yeah this is the part part eight i bring it into my sketch again right click escape then come back to color strain sorry home center line to this center line so like i said earlier it is used for screwing down whatever is going to be seated on this surface and is about to be cut or so so i come to this plane also i want to step with up with this plane 
So rotate conclusor. I need to rotate upwards more. Yeah, so it's going to be stable to this surface. Okay. Then ohm. Answer. Okay, in continuation, or um, next is this guy. I come to constrain. I pick up this guy who is going from under net through this O actually. So if I come into this O, yes. Then okay. Now I push him out totally. Come back home. Then click on my constraint touch on this surface then rotate my drawing to the bottom and I touch on this surface so it is successfully placed and the last part actually there's meant to be a washer here and okay, let me just import the washer right click sorry place and my washer should be number six seven four dd yeah this is the washer let me bring in washer one more time right click left click escape then my washer constraint again click on this sorry cancel that click on this axis and the same axis with my washer yes constraint then come back again okay click on constraint again now i want surface then i rotate upwards okay, sorry Just... oh my mouse cancel sorry Come back home. Let me pull it upwards since I'm having difficulty seeing it. So come back to constraint. I click on this surface and I rotate to the top. Rotate to the top. So my goal is to see this attach. Okay. Then come back home. And next, last on the list is the boats. I come closer to the boats, center line of my boats, to so center line of this good. And okay, I mean, there should be a way whereby I can attach, I can use it twice rather than coming back and forth. So I want it to sit on this plane, reverted. I think I can see my boots. Yeah, this is my boots on this plane. Okay, so successfully it has been done. The next thing I want to do is, um, yeah, this is assembly. Save my assembly on my desktop assembly five. Save then I open new file, come to file then new i go to presentation assembly 5 open then i click on tweak components and i begin to using everything sorry click on this guy take him upwards sorry zoom out click on this guy take him upwards click on this guy take him upwards click on this guy sorry yeah then take him upwards also then next i click on this guy take him backwards click on this guy 
Iki, 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 iki. Sorry. Picking backwards. Click on this guy. Drag him backwards. Click on this guy. And take him the other way around. Then the last guy. Which is this guy i take him downwards so here is my total sketch total sketch then when i click on play so you should see it happening by itself on screen each other So this is like a presentation to show whoever is working on your templates so you or she can understand how to couple up all of your model drawings and yeah successfully done then you save click on video you save then um for me now i want to create a drawing view i click on ok then i'm like yes i want to use this i'm saving it as that then standard ISO IDW create and automatically in snapshot yada yada drawing view. Um I want to try two ratio one, one ratio one looks okay, but I have to pull it upwards and okay. So this looks good uh i'll be saving this let's make a screenshot yeah for myself for my diagram so hey guys make sure you subscribe to this channel and thank you very much for your time